New charges tonight against the Central West End couple accused of pointing guns at protesters over the summer. This as they railed against city officials today, saying the government is persecuting them. News 4's Lauren Traeger was in the courtroom today and was the first to break the news of the charges. Well, this is certainly a big development. A grand jury, of course, can always choose not to indict someone, but the grand jury here in this case chose to indict and also add additional charges. The defense attorney, though, in the case says that's not surprising. He believes the grand jury simply did not have all of the facts. In fact, News 4 has learned that the lead investigator for the police that's been investigating this case was never called to testify before the grand jury. In this case, I believe once all the facts are out, it will be clear that neither McCloskey committed any crime whatsoever. Defense attorney Joel Schwartz says he's not surprised that Mark and Patricia McCloskey have been indicted. Frankly, because the grand jury is not an adversarial process, defense counsel are not allowed in there and I have no idea whatsoever what was stated to the grand jury and what law was given to the grand jury. The McCloskeys had previously been charged with felony counts of exhibiting weapons for pointing guns at protesters outside their central West End home. They have long maintained they were protecting themselves and their property from people hurling threats. But the grand jury also added a count for each of them tampering. This, we're told, stems from the pistol held by Patricia McCloskey and later turned over to police by attorney Al Watkins. The gun, Watkins maintains, had been rendered inoperable, but a report obtained by News 4 from the St. Louis Police Crime Lab showed that a prosecutor had instructed the examiners to reassemble it correctly, all of which could be an issue in the ongoing case. Every single human being who was in front of my house was a criminal trespasser. They broke down our gate. They trespassed on our property. Not a single one of those people is now charged with anything. Fired up on the courthouse steps earlier Tuesday, Mark McCloskey railed against city officials saying it was frightening that they were charged, while last week city officials declined to file any charges against protesters on citations for trespassing. What you're witnessing here in this case is just an opportunity for the government, the leftist, Democrat, government of the city of St. Louis to persecute us for doing no more than exercising our Second Amendment rights. Now, the city counselor's office declined to comment on those trespassing citations today. We have also reached out to the prosecutor's office to learn more about that indictment and to get their comment. But despite multiple attempts to get a hold of them today, we have still not heard back. The McCloskeys will be back here in court next week. And of course, you can count on News 4 to be there. Reporting live downtown, Lauren Traeger, News 4.